I wanted to talk about what are you broadcasting? You say this quite a bit. Can you go into detail about what are you broadcasting? Yep, I sure can. That's like my mantra and my theme, of course, because TV and film is my background. And in business, you're always giving off some kind of signal. You're your own TV station. You're your own radio station. You're your own theater and movie. And what is what is the theme or the signal that you give off? Are you authentic? Are you approachable? Do people feel good in your space? Because the bottom line is, Sean, people do business with people they like. Granted, you got to have great products, great services, and they do business with people they like. Um, are you a person that creates cycles of reciprocity, which is one of my favorite skills? It's a giving and receiving that happens to some to each other in business. Do you give and receive and help each other and support each other, or are you always constantly giving, which creates anger, which is fear? and actually doesn't have you generate and create in your business, or are you always taking? I'm always looking for those relationships that are a give and receive that actually mutually benefit both of us in the relationship. You're always looking for a balance. And it doesn't always have to be balanced, too, because a lot of times someone will say to me, oh, Sean, you know, um, what about if I give to the American Cancer Society? Well, here's another way to look at it. Yeah, if I give, because I, I play a lot in the American Cancer Society, I don't expect them to send me clients back. You know, it's just good chi to make a difference philanthropically, right? But think about this, like my daughter, I have a 25-year-old daughter who has a little baby who's in med school, and she wanted to give me a pedicure for my birthday. Ten years ago, I would say, oh, no, Autumn, no pedicures. you got no money or, you know, whatever. It's like, no, my precious daughter, I deeply receive your pedicure, even though it's only 35 bucks, right, U.S. or Canadian. I deeply receive that pedicure because I know what she's giving me is love. And a lot of times in business, maybe it isn't going to always be balanced or perfect. If you start feeling angry toward a person that you've been helping, that's usually a good sign that it's time to focus your energy somewhere else. Because whatever you focus on expands. If you're focusing on like trying to get somebody or trying to get them as a client and they're just not responding, that's when it's time to let them go. If you're feeling uncomfortable or you're feeling angry or feeling cheated, let them go and focus somewhere else where you can actually receive. And one of the biggest things that I see though when I do trainings is we say we want to have a reciprocal relationship and a lot of us have a hard time receiving. We're giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and we haven't opened floodgates to receive. Do you find that more people have a more difficult time receiving than giving? Well, it depends on the person. Um, I hang out with really high integrity, lovely people. I just do. That's what I attract. And those folks are the ones that tend to give too much because we so want to make a difference and help the world. And again, that that anger feelings, anger feelings come up, bitterness or whatever. You're on the right. You're on the wrong track. Regroup, refocus, and see where you need to go. Because you always know. You're, when you listen to your intuition, know what's going on in your body. You know what to do next. You'll make mistakes. Forgive yourself and move on. It's not really that deep. <laughs> Um, this is a question I asked yesterday to a guest, but do you find business to be intuitive? Oh, of course. The most highly skilled, most successful people are highly intuitive. They're highly intuitive, whether it's looking at a financial statement and knowing what feels good about a company or not feels good or doesn't feel good about a company if you're going to invest in it. And you listen to that. There's knowledge there, too. But there's also your gut, because I've met people where everything looks great on paper and I sit and hang out with them and they I, I just don't feel good with them for whatever reason. And I've gotten to the point at my 48 years old years of age where I really listen to myself because I know like I can feel my skin crinkle when somebody feels really really good and they've got they look good on paper too so and of, co of course we all make mistakes that's part of the game sometimes I'll meet someone and I'm iffy like I got a guy this greening Detroit guy out in, that wants me to participate in his board I don't know I'm sitting on the fence with them I may try it it could be a risk I'll know pretty quickly if I want to stay, but I know I can always change my mind and say, you know what, this is not feeling good. And you can step aside and move somewhere else. It's all good. Yeah. Have you ever made a, have, well, I guess you probably have, but have you ever made a decision that you've regretted going against your intuition? Oh, absolutely. But if looking back at it now, I didn't know it was the wrong decision. I knew it didn't always feel good. I went into a partnership with a gentleman, and luckily it was only a $20,000 loss. Um, it could have been a lot higher, 
probably six months into that investment in this partnership, I knew this was dead in the water. And it was more about how I could extricate myself with integrity, with kindness, um, without losing my butt. So, yeah, usually when those feelings, when you're at that networking event or something happens and you get that eh in your stomach, you really want to listen to it. But that's how you learn, too, by making those mistakes. That's how you learn. The problem is, is, is if you keep repeating them, then there's something going on there. If you keep repeating the same mistakes over and over, that's when it's time to take a transformational course. Of course, I want people to come take my boot camp because all I do is work on fear in my boot camp and, um, and, and help you play and see what's intuitively going on. Um, or take a course like a Jack Canfield course, the Chicken Soup for the Soul guy. I love that guy. Um, Dave Albano, who's a mutual friend of ours, does great courses and workshops. So there's a lot of different courses that can help you personally grow in that realm of intuition. And um, and I think that's such an important piece. Yeah. And what would you say that your best uh, intuitive decision would be where you followed your intuition? Um, Project Forgive. Project, Project Forgive. Forgive. Yeah. And I really needed a little bit of uh, a nudging. I'm a Randy. I don't know if you've ever heard of Randy Gage. The guy I, is amazing. I yeah. interviewed Randy um, a couple oh, yeah. of months ago. Oh, fabulous. So Randy is one of my clients. Um, we do all his PR. He's got one of the most visited blogs in the world. And he's also a dear friend. And I'd also consider him a mentor because I've learned a lot about money and abundance from him. He is a prosperity expert. And he said to me last year, last summer, um, you know, because I've been holding this idea for Project Forget for a good six and a half years. And he said to me, Sean, when are you just going to jump in? You got your feet in, in two boats. When are you just going to launch Project Forgive and rock it out? And um, I listened to him. I listened to him. It's the best thing I ever did. Because even though I have two businesses, I've got Project Forgive and I've got Sean TV, they both overlap in so many ways. They both support each other. You know, I work a lot with corporations and entrepreneurs. In the same breath, I got churches calling me, for goodness sakes, okay, on Project Forgive. But I still bring that conversation of forgiveness in business, especially in this realm of media and communication. So it's just been, it's not a stretch. It's just been a perfect fit. And um, boy, I wish I would have done it a long time ago. But emotionally, spiritually, personally, intuitively, I obviously I wasn't ready or else I would have done it. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. And be sure to like, share, and comment below. Subscribe to this channel for more interviews. And if you want to go further and be live on the interviews, you can go to mmt.tv forward slash live to find out how. Like on Facebook and follow on Twitter to ask your questions. And be sure to get on the mailing list. Go to mmt.tv to get access to all the things that are not contained in these interviews. All the links are mentioned below. And until next time, break the rules, change the game, and be a rock star.